What's up, everyone? It's the English version of Jacob's Clock again. Welcome to my channel. It's so long that I haven't made English vlogs, and now I want to I want to discuss about the the latest issue that come from New Zealand that the current government, current New Zealand government, which is led by the youngest Prime Minister of New Zealand centuries, Jacinda Ardern. <coughs> and she is the third, the third female Prime Minister of New Zealand and the second Prime Minister from the Labour Party of New Zealand after the previous nine years long the nine years long serving Prime Minister Helen Clark took office before before taken over by the National before before being taken over by the National Party in 2009 and yes the National Party of New Zealand ruled the country for eight years in a row. So, what's the deal? So, what's my what's my deal in New Zealand's recent ban on housing markets? As you know, New Zealand's Labour Party is now in coalition with the anti-immigrant New Zealand First, led by Winston Peters. I didn't give a shit on him because he's such an anti-immigrant person. And once he said. That, that New Zealand is a is not for sale anymore, and I said, "What the fuck is going on with him?" Uh, maybe he wants to pretend like he wants to be a Donald. He wants to be a Donald Trump of New Zealand, or maybe Nigel Farage of New Zealand. And the simple conclusion is, I absolutely oppose the New Zealand's ban on foreign ownership, foreign home ownership. That means foreigners in New Zealand are no longer allowed to have a house, to have an existing house like this in New Zealand. For years, from my perspective as a Briton in Indonesia, you know, foreign ownership in Indonesia is now on the rise. <coughs> and foreigners owning a home in Indonesia is slightly easier. Rather than foreigners owning a home in Mexico, yeah, in which Mexico is not allowed for foreigners to own a home, including in the capital Mexico City or Ciudad de Mexico. The recent ban, <coughs> or maybe the recent proposed ban on foreigners buying from owning and, and buying a home in New Zealand is a it's like a thunder in, in, it's like a daytime thunder, I should say. It's so shocking for me because, you know, I'm a fan, I'm a great fan of free markets. Yeah, I'm a great fan of a of free economy. And I believe that case, that simple case, yeah, that simple case <coughs> could hit New Zealand status as one of the most free economy, one of the most economically free nations in the world, alongside with Singapore, Ca Canada, and Australia, in which also rank as the world's most free economy. I should say maybe Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern and Deputy Prime Minister Winston Peters does not have a mirror. Both of them aren't half mirror to look at abroad. <laughs> look at Singapore. 50% of Singaporean, 50% of populations in Singapore are foreigners and immigrants. Foreigners own, foreigners own 50% of properties in Singapore, including existing housing in that city state of Southeast Asia. And most Singaporeans feel okay with that. But I think Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern is just to what I should say, para too paranoid, to paranoid is thick. Yeah, maybe she thinks over paranoid that uh, housing in New Zealand is now on the hype. Housing in New Zealand is more expensive, so New Zealanders cannot afford. So New Zealanders cannot afford housing anymore. No, <coughs> I think it's it is it is still okay for New Zealanders for New Zealand for New Zealanders. To own an, I think I should say I think it's okay for foreigners. It is still 
very okay for foreigners to own a house, an existing house in New Zealand, instead of owning a land, building a new house that will cost much more New Zealand dollars. As the foreigners in New Zealand pay taxes to New Zealand government, I think they, they should be allowed to build or maybe to own the house in New Zealand, even the most expensive ones in Auckland. So I think Winston Peters once Winston Peters word that New Zealand is not not for no longer for sale, I think it will damage New Zealand's image as the very open nation to all kinds of world citizens. Just like so I think New Zealand will lose their status as the welcoming nation for all kinds of world citizens with this ban on foreign housings that will take it back possibly next year. So I consider the government of New Zealand led by Jacinda Ardern and Winston Peters to just remove the ban, let foreigners own a house in New Zealand and if you want to create an affordable housing for New Zealanders, just subsidize the local housing to specifically specifically mentioned New Zealanders that need a subsidy for buying a house in New Zealand. So that's my opinion about the ban on New Zealand, the ban on foreign ownership in New Zealand, foreign home ownership in New Zealand, I should say. Uh, the main conclusion is I very disagree with that ban. Hope you will enjoy and bye-bye.